Hey guys, it's Bailey and welcome back to the channel. This is going to be a top five video. Typically I'd say top five and under five. For those of you who don't know what that is, it's top five where I talk about my top five favorite beauty products in a given category in under five minutes. But let's be honest, the past few videos that have been in this series have not been under five minutes and I'm, I don't think I'm about to start with this one because there's a lot of stuff to talk about. So top five, but if you want to see others that may or may not be under five minutes, you can click the I up here or there will be a link to the playlist down below. But the topic for this particular video is going to be stick foundations. A lot of brands have been coming out with new updated stick foundation formulas and these are not your mom's stick foundations. When I was growing up, stick foundation meant it was like super cakey, almost like stage makeup, very thick cakey makeup that just felt very heavy on your skin. These are not at all like that. So I have been looking for the past few months, gathering my top five that I would recommend for people looking for different kinds of coverage, different finishes, things like that. And I have them for you today. So let's, oh, and I also am gonna show you different ways that I like to apply them because as I've been using them in tutorials and talking about them in favorites, you'll recognize a few of these from favorites videos. A lot of you have been asking how I like to apply them, different techniques to apply them because because it's not like a liquid or a cream where you just kind of put it all over. It's it's not necessarily a familiar medium, I guess, for everyone. So I'm gonna talk a little bit th about that as well. Let's jump into it though. The way I have these organized is kind of, I've actually found both a high-end and drugstore sort of equivalent in given categories. So that's how that's gonna work for this video. The first of which, for instance, is for those who might be looking for a matte finish or have a combo to oily skin type and so they're really looking for something that will control shine. I have two options for you. The drugstore alternative is one of the first stick foundations to have kind of launched this whole updated stick foundation formula. It is Maybelline's Fit Me Shine Free Foundation. This, um, the one, my one gripe about this is that the cap does not stay on. But besides that, that really has not kept me from using it. As you can see, I mean, I think this is the second one of these I have purchased over the course of when it first came out. And I have a review of it that I will link to down below as well. But use the pants out of this and I love it because it, it truly gives you a cream to powder sort of matte finish that controls shine throughout the day. The coverage is really nice and buildable. I would say though after trying the high-end version that I'm going to talk about it is probably on the lighter side of things. You can build it to get medium to nearly full coverage but it's not going to be a totally blank canvas if that makes any sense. That being said though it does dry down to a really nice matte consistency without being overly matte and it stays that way throughout the day. It's really great at controlling shine. The high-end equivalent that I want to talk about is a brand new foundation from Inglot. It's their stick foundation. Oh, and for reference, my shade in the Maybelline is 120 and my shade in the Inglot is 105. Now the Inglot, like I said, differs a little bit from the Maybelline in that it gives a little bit more coverage. This does feel a little bit heavier on the skin. It doesn't glide across quite as smoothly as the Maybelline Fit Me, but this of all the five foundations I'm gonna talk about from my skin type at least, combination in case you didn't know, stayed the best throughout the day. I mean, it just, it looked like maybe an hour or two had passed in terms of wear for my face. Um, but in reality, it had been like between eight and 12. It's just truly bulletproof and all I wore was this, no setting powder. And it still gives you that same matte finish. It goes on as a cream, but it dries down to a nice, smooth, even base and you get that additional coverage and unbelievable lasting power. Next up are my picks for those that have normal to maybe drier skin types or those that just like a little bit of a dewier finish. You can totally get that in a stick foundation, but my two picks are those that even someone with combination skin can wear and they're not gonna get excessively oily throughout the day, which can be a problem for me when I'm going, when I want a more luminous finish, it can turn into excess oiliness at the end of the day. So haven't experienced that at all with these. My first pick is the more affordable slash kind of drugstore pick. It's from e.l.f. It's their moisturizing stick foundation. This is another one that I have a complete review of. So you can actually see before and after is my full thoughts on it. But basically it does an excellent job at moisturizing, yet it's not overly moisturizing for my combination skin. It's a great stick foundation for winter if you're looking something, looking for something that's gonna give you that added moisture, but still give you a good amount of coverage. Of the two I have in the more luminous category, this is definitely the heavier one. It can 
sit and feel and initially when I tried it this was one of the first few along with the Maybelline Fit Me that I had tried when people were first starting to come out with you know new stick foundation formulas and it felt really nice and it's not super duper heavy but compared to the other alternative that I'm gonna talk about in this category it is a little bit heavier it can tend to sink a little bit more into fine lines especially around the eyes and mouth area as it wears throughout the day but for the most part this is an amazing stick foundation that provides great buildable coverage and is really nice and moisturizing the high-end alternative is then of course the foundation that I've been raving about for at least two ever since I reviewed it honestly it is the makeup forever ultra HD stick foundation they recently came out with this when they relaunched their ultra HD liquid foundation I personally found that this was a better choice for my combination skin type because it gave me that radiant lit from within sort of finish but it didn't develop the excess shine throughout the day like the liquid formula did for me and yet the coverage is super buildable it's very smooth and creamy like I said it doesn't drain the elf can tend to drag a little bit across the skin and feels a little bit heavier this feels like you're wearing nothing it's actually what I'm currently wearing today and have been wearing in a lot of videos recently that you guys have been asking me what foundation I'm wearing it's been this guy and this is another one where like the Maybelline fit me I have used the pants off of it it is just its days are seriously numbered because I have been using this and only this it's just so super reliable and like I said I have combination skin so even if you do tend to be concerned with developing excess shine this is going to give you that radiant complexion without looking like an oil slick at the end of the day and last is a pick that I wanted to include because it's a little bit more multifunctional but it's still very reliable as a stick foundation it is Tarte's CC colored clay CC primer and even though it's called a primer it does have some pigmentation if you want to use it for coverage in fact I picked this because it's multifunctional not only in that it acts as a primer but you could wear this by itself and you're not only going to get like a sheer wash of coverage but you're also going to get that color correction you can see it has green and a light lavender in here and so it's just so multifunctional and a great stick alternative if you're looking for a serious multitasker that can do it all but you're just looking for a little bit of extra coverage not a full-on face of makeup and now a little bit more about the way I like to go about applying these the first of which is the way you'll see me do it in pretty much every tutorial which is where I just apply it directly to my face and then I will use a brush to buff and blend it all out I pretty much just go across my forehead two or three stripes down each of my cheeks and then something down the center of my nose and on my chin and upper lip that's I mean it really just depends on how much coverage you want but then from there I'll just go and blend it out and that is more than enough product and then if you find that you need extra coverage on problem areas like I break out around my chin I might want some more there all of these are formulas that I think you can definitely go in and apply more and then blend more with your brush if you feel like you just need a little bit of extra help in those areas otherwise Stick foundations are also really great for just getting super quick and precise coverage on areas that you just, you gotta get out the door. You don't wanna do the full face of foundation with the liquid and the brush and the sponge or whatever it is you do. You just want something quick. So there are two ways that I recommend doing that. One of which is using a brush that you brush on top of the stick itself and then go and apply that with your brush directly to your face. Otherwise, if you're working with a thicker formula, like I definitely recommend this for the Inglot foundation or any formula that you just find is a little bit too thick, warm it up with the heat of your fingers and apply it directly that way. It'll help it blend in super easily. You'll avoid tugging at your skin and just using that extra heat from your hands is going to help it sink and blend into your skin that much better and last that much longer throughout the day. So three different ways to apply depending on the kind of coverage you want or just your preferred method of application. Uh, that's really it. I hope you enjoy learning about my top five favorite stick foundations and learning a little bit more about different ways you can apply them to get different coverages and effects. Uh, beyond that, thank you guys so much for watching. Really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!